Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and since the last video, where I talked about our trading server in Discord, it's been getting hectic. More about that at the end of the video. But in this video, here's some of the best cars that are now gone, unfortunately. Hopefully you enjoy the video. The Hermes or the Hermes. What a unique, amazing car they added to the game. A car that made, like, any per lesson look nice. This car looked like a sample car for paint. It looked like it should have been in a showroom just showing different samples because it made all of them look good. Coupled with that air ride suspension, that was also an amazing unique factor. And it was a muscle car that could actually drive really well. It had a such simple sleek design, but when you looked closer into the car, the more closer you look, the more detail you'll find, which is rare in a GTA car. <laughs> but it was definitely more of a show car and I just loved always seeing this at a car meet because really it was there to show off your paint and no car does that better than this car the comet retro custom i get it there is quite a few comets in the game the normal comet the comet sr the comet retro the comet s2 the comet cabrio there is quite a few comets but that does not mean they have to get rid of the comet in the game which you then need to Benny's to get the... So they're getting rid of two cars. They're getting rid of the re original Comet and they're getting rid of the Comet Retro Custom. Because the original Comet, when you put it in Benny's, becomes Comet Retro Custom. And I can guarantee if you're into cars, you don't just have one of these. You have quite a few because there's so many builds you can make with the Comet Retro Custom. I know many people that have loads of them because just look at it. It's, just, it, it's a masterpiece. A masterpiece you can no longer buy. Unless you're in our Discord. <laughs> Normally I can't speak for the majority of the GTA population because I'm always in car meets, all my friends are into cars and from what I see, I see the 190Z all the time so I can't really say it's less used on my behalf. It's a car I love since day one. You guys have probably seen so many different builds of mine. I love bringing this to car meets. It's in its own niche, there's not many cars like this. Looks nice, wasn't too expensive, had a lot of modifications. This had a crazy amount of modifications for what type of car it is. It had so many across the JDM market, or would I have to say JD market. <laughs> this is one of the cars that made me re-look at GTA, as the modifications you could put on were very niche and suited. They put a lot of effort into this car, but then they put so much effort into it and now deleted it. They're probably like, oh well, it's had its five year run, so we'll now get rid of it. The Warrener, such a classic. The first time you could see actually Bozazuku in, in the game. The time where you thought, what, Rockstar actually know different car cultures. The first time you find out they actually have car people working for Rockstar. This is a groundbreaking car. This was really nice. Had real life modifications, had some questionable modifications, but there was no doubt that this car looked amazing. Just a simple, nice, sleek design. Well, mine was simple anyway, but yeah, it's gone. The XA21. I think this is definitely one of the cars on the list which I have to call out Rockstar for. How is the XA21 less used? It's like one of the more popular to the car community and one of the more popular to the general GTA community. I'm just saying Rockstar made a mistake deleting this. This one is still desired to this day. One of the reasons being the adapted spoiler which is on a few cars but only a few. But the main part about this car is the sound. The sound is just godly like everyone loves the sound of this car. When you mention best sounding cars, XA21 is always in that list. Always. So then that's why it kind of justifies the 2.37 million price tag. It does make it feel more worth it, but now you can't buy it anyway. So uh, I do think this is one of the cars that will only appear in the GTA Vinewood Car Club. So only for GTA Plus members. So they're going to bring out amazing cars like this. And then you can only have GTA Plus to buy it, which will then make you reconsider buying the GTA Plus. But again, you don't need to do that. You can just join our Discord. The Massacro was so slept on when it was out and available for sale. It has really good handling. It looks amazing. It's got a race car variant. Sounds so good. And it really is perfect for the GTA streets. The handling on it, although not the best, was really good for the price of the car. This was definitely a lower range sports car. And I haven't changed mine for such a long time just because how beautiful it looks. The Vamos. This was, including mine, one of most people's favorite muscle car. That has only been replaced with the Arbiter because that thing, or Arbiter, has everything the Vamos has and has that stupid HSW speed. But let's call the Vamos the more affordable Arbiter. 
And the fact that it was based off a Nova, one of the more famous classic muscle cars. A lot of people love this car because, you know, their uncle had one, their dad had one, their granddad. It, it was such a desirable car back in the days and it made it a desirable car to car people in GTA. But the character of this car, the drivability of this car, it made it feel like GTA's not just about going around and killing. It's sometimes about driving experience. Let's not even talk about the crazy wheelies this thing does. It wheelies forever and that's what I only seem to be doing in this video. But if you do have the Vamos, take it out, take it for a drive, go in and out of traffic, and you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> the Xeon Classic, something that probably made me the most saddest. It's lucky I've got five of them, but I mean, why did they get rid of the Xeon Classic? It's not even that old in GTA's library, like it's actually, and really, there's no unique factor to this car. It's like not the fastest, it's not the best round track, it's, it, it's none of them, but it's, it, this car has so much class. I am into my classic BMWs. My whole family is into classic BMWs. And if you look outside my house on my driveway, you'll see classic BMWs. And they just removed one from the game. This one is a bit more specific to me. I think it's quite devastating to the car community as well. Mind my stupid paint on this. I was just experimenting beforehand. But the FMJ. The FMJ is a great looking supercar, very desirable in around the world to be fair. Hypercar, supercar, I really don't know the stats on this car, but I'm sure it's not lesser used. It was quite expensive and I do think this is one that goes alongside the XA21. I think it will be displayed as a GTA Plus vehicle. You'll probably never see it in luxury motorsport, definitely not the Simeon Garage. It's definitely a shame, it's definitely a shame. If you do want it, check our Discord out. The original Jester looks so sleek and aggressive at the same time. That LED strip, which when it came into GTA, I was like, wow, are they going to do loads of cars like this? They didn't do many, but this car looks really nice. Again, this is another one that doesn't handle the best. It's not the fastest, but you do get that nice mid-engine kind of mass while you're driving this car. But the best part about this car is the looks of it. It looks so nice, and especially when you stance it, it looks so photogenic. Don't worry, although it's last, the Paragon R is still on the list. Paragon R, mainly I think for the looks, this thing looks incredible. It carries a lot of details, as you can see in the cinematics. Small details like the carbon fiber, everything, the headlight detail. This car is really good and the category it sits in, a luxury sports car. There's not that many in the game and I think this is a fan favorite. It came along with the armored one, but with those little grooves on the door on the armored one and guns sometimes you just want you want to escape the gta atmosphere you you don't want any trouble it sticks to the road really well this car drives very well in snow and you wouldn't think so amazing car and highly suggested as i said at the beginning of the video that discord channel has been getting hectic so hectic in fact that there's been too many posts so just in the last 24 hours there has been this many posts and it's been getting less and less every day so yeah on the first day it was crazy but there's people offering, there's people wanting and just join the Discord. Get any of these cars on the list. Getting these cars on the list are easy to get compared to what I've seen on this Discord. There's been people giving random stuff and it's been working out very well. Let's just say all sorts of cars have been trading there. So yeah, don't miss out. No one benefits from this except you guys. I apologize in advance if you can't make a post because there's too many. But yeah, hopefully you enjoy your stay there. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.